is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with Quick Hits. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, except for Sundays, once a day on Sundays. Um, great show today. Uh, we're going to get into Jaime Munguia, who showed uh, much improvement um, this last outing. Um, looked really good. Better. I mean, uh, let me taper that a little bit. He looked better, a lot better. Um, he still has a way to go. But before we get into that, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, share 3D Boxing, all forms, social media. Uh, share it with a friend. Please uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell icon. Also, please subscribe to our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. You can see, uh, <clears throat> hi, Magia. This win is important for for a couple of reasons. A, because he looked a lot better. B, because the division is wide open. Um, we can get into Charlo, which we got into yesterday, which I think he looked good, but he's not unbeatable. You got Tri uh, Triple G, who's looked beatable. Um, Andre, who doesn't fight anybody good, who's beatable, who falls asleep at the wheel. Um. So he's a player in the division. So so let's get into the performance first. Why, why did Munguia look better? What did he do better? He was more on his feet. He wasn't as flat-footed as he typically is. He was throwing off combinations. He was firing off combinations. <clears throat> he wasn't just throwing one, two, one, two. He was throwing in threes and fours as well. Um, like he said, his footwork is, is better. He's, he's lighter on his feet. He's not as flat-footed, and he's moving his head. For the first time, he's look, he's still getting hit a lot. I mean, that's always going to be an issue, and he's always going to be in fun fights because of it. Um, but he's moving his head. He was slipping his head off center line. He, he was uh, making smarter. And, and smarter is not a, a world beater. We've seen him twice, once in an eight-rounder against nobody on Triple G undercard, and then somehow that got him the mandatory to fight Triple G, in which he was utterly destroyed by Triple G. Um, so he's not a world beater, uh, but um, the performance was good by Munguia. The pop looked good. Um, he's physically strong, still at 160 like he was at 154. I, I think working with Morales has, has taken him a long way. I, I think we finally saw the improvement that we wanted to see in him. Now, he's still, like I said, he still has a ways to go. He's still really young. I think he is 24. Um, yeah, he's 24. To be 25 um, in, in, in October. So the next time we see him, we'll probably be 25. He's young. He's got ways to go. Um, but he's a player now in this division. Um, he's relevant in the division. Like I said, it, 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 it's a wide open division. Um, Paulo, Andre, Triple G, you know, Canelo's not here anymore. Got guys like Rob Bray, you get guys like Chris Eubank. None of those guys are unbeatable. Uh, I would say Charlo's the best, and that's a fight that De La Hoya wants to make desperately in Texas. It would sell really well, Houston, Antonio, wherever. Um, I, I he's not ready for that. I don't know if he's ready for Triple G. I think, although that's a great fight. Uh, post by Charlo said, uh, Charlo said, Munguia said he wanted to fight either Gabe Rosado. If, if Gabe can come down to 160, I would like to see that, given Gabe, what Gabe just did. Um, or he wants to fight one of the champions, which I, I, I think would be either Triple G, most likely. Uh, well, it could be any of them, really. Triple G, Andre, or Charlo. Um, I, I, I think we're all. I don't know how makeable the Charlo fight is, but if you're Charlo, you think it's an easy 
fight. It's certainly a winnable fight. McGee is flawed. He's there to be hit. The money is good. He's a relatively big draw, McGee, you know, in, in a sense. Why not take that fight? You know what I'm saying? Um, going through the division, yeah, I mean, the, the, the names are top-heavy. Um, Brandt, Liam Williams, he already beat. Zaliski, Murata. Gabe Rosado would be a good step up for his next opponent. That can't be made. Let's put him in with, 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 with uh, like again, he's still only 24. So he's still really young. He's got ways to, he got, he's got plenty of time. Um, let's get him in with Triple G or Andre. Seriously. Um, those guys, or Charlo. I'm down for any of them. I, I think he's looked improved enough. He's not going to get blown out. I'm not saying he's going to win. He's probably not going to win. I don't think it's impossible for him to. He gets hit a lot to be Triple G, honestly. Um, but he looked better, be, good enough where he might. I, you can't. That's a tough fight. The the, the, the Andre fight is interesting because Andre could score him, but Andre falls asleep behind the wheel. I, I think he's competitive. I just don't know if he wins any of these fights. He may never win those fights. These guys are good. You know, he may have to wait until those guys age out, move out of the weight class, whatever. But Munguia is at least a player now at 160. Um, I, I think the, the work with Morales, he showed a lot of improvement. Um, I think it was a good performance. I'm looking forward to seeing him again. And, again, I, I want to see him against one of those names. I don't know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. What did y'all think of Munguia's performance? Do you think he's ready to fight those top names? Would you like to see the Rosado fight? Darvinchenko is a name I would like to see him fight. Again, I don't know how makeable these fights are. I'd like to see Rob Brandt, Murata, names like that first and then go up to fight a world champion. But if that can't be done, let's get him Triple G or, or, or Andre or Tarlo next. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share 3D Boxing. Uh, I'll follow me on social media. Um, please subscribe to the new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is June 21st, June 20th, 2021. I've been Calderon to still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.